Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Roxanne Amadpour. I am a naturopathic doctor and an expert in integrative mental health and mind-body medicine. And today I would like to discuss emotional freedom technique or EFT, uh, it's also called tapping. And this is a type of mind-body technique that uh, combines some concepts in conventional psychology with East Asian medicine by the use of uh, acupressure points. And we use this with patients to help balance and process very strong emotions and emotional experiences. And normally, Emotions are something that we all experience. It's a very normal part of being alive and being human. And for the most part, emotions sort of come and go. They're temporary and they happen and they resolve. And sometimes we can get stuck in a particular emotion or we can have this emotion that's really strong and powerful and very disruptive to our lives. An example might be excessive anxiety or worry, or it could be anger and an anger that's just sort of stuck. You're stuck in this perpetual state of anger because of something that happened. And when emotions get stuck, they can be really problematic. And emotions live in our body. They're experienced in our bodies. They're just as much a physical experience as they are a mental and emotional experience. And so the research shows that the most effective ways of dealing with strong emotions and strong emotional memories and things like stress are to actually engage the body. So not to just simply think it away or wish it away, only using the mind, but actually engaging the body so that we can engage the brain and the nervous system and various parts of our nervous system to help balance and process and move that energy so it can shift. Um, and the research shows that EFT is particularly effective for conditions like anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, physical pain syndromes like chronic pain, um, and even things like cognitive performance and athletic performance. So it's been used in a very uh, wide range of issues and conditions, but it's been shown to be incredibly effective, partially because it's not only this cognitive exercise where you're using your mind, it's also a mind, or excuse me, a, a physical exercise where you're engaging the body and you're doing both simultaneously. So essentially, uh, EFT or tapping is a sequence and um, you are tapping various uh, acupressure points as you are calling to mind a particular issue or emotion or memory, an image um, that is distressing that you're trying to process. And the first part of this exercise is to identify the issue. And this might be particularly challenging. Um, it requires a skill that's called interoception. So interoception is sort of like proprioception, where proprioception is our ability to sense um, ourselves in space and in relationship to our external environment. And interoception is our ability to sort of sense into our internal environment. So to be able to identify complicated emotions and to feel them in our body. So to sense into our emotional body, our mental body, our physical body. And this is a, an incredibly challenging um, skill for many of us to be able to identify particularly what might be happening for us in a given moment. And so the first step of this exercise relies on interoception. So identifying as clearly as you can what the issue is that you want to work on. So name the emotion, the memory, the pain, whatever that is, and try to give it a name, you know, that's maybe one word, two words, something that's sort of simple. So if it's a complex memory of this situation that happened in your past, try to distill it down to what is the essence of that memory? Is, is there a strong emotion tied to that memory or is there an image that's tied to that memory? And use that. 
And so once you have a sense of what that is, the next step is to rate how distressing this is for you. So you might need to sense into your body, sense into you know, where you're feeling uh, your, your body activate in response to this distressing memory or emotion and rate it on a scale of zero to 10. Zero being not distressing at all, you're cool as a cucumber, 10 being incredibly distressing. And keep that number in mind. And then we're going to begin the tapping sequence by um, having the issue in mind while tapping this point on the side of the hand um, where the pinky finger side of the hand is. And this is called the karate chop point. So you can use two fingers, three fingers, you can use your whole hand, um, just as long as you're tapping and there's some physical um, sensation and contact there. And so as we're tapping, we're going to repeat a phrase three times, out loud if possible, um, but if not, you can repeat it to yourself silently. And so we'll say, even though I have this problem, and so name the issue, I fully and completely accept myself. And so we'll repeat that three times. Even though I have this problem, name your problem, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I fully and completely accept myself. So you might take a breath, notice how you feel. Notice if that number on that scale has shifted. Maybe it went from a nine to an eight. Maybe it stayed the same. Maybe the number jumped up on the scale. Just notice what's happening for you. The next step of the sequence is to tap um, some acupressure points while we call to mind the issue. So we wanna hold the issue in our minds as we go through the various points. So we'll begin at the top of the head. So again, you can use one, two, three fingers, just tapping. And so as you tap, call to mind the issue, my problem. Then we'll move to the next point here on the inner eyebrows and call to mind my problem. Then we'll move to the outer eyebrows, call to mind my problem. Then here on the cheekbones, right underneath the eyes, call to mind my problem. Here on the upper lip, my problem. On the chin, my problem. And then here on the inner aspect of the arms, it's a little silly, but right there, or sorry, not the inner aspect of the arms, the inner aspect of the chest, my problem. And then the final point is here on the inner aspect of the collarbones, it's my problem. And then pause, take another breath and notice, where are you on that scale of zero to 10? Has there been any shift or change? And so you might notice that the number has gone down um, and perhaps it stayed the same and perhaps it's gone up. And if your number is still relatively high, like a five or greater, you can go through that sequence again. And each time you do that tapping sequence, it should become less and less distressing. That number should go down. If your number is relatively low, just even after that one session of tapping, you might call it good. And that can be your practice of the day. And if there's some residual emotion um, that's still there, it's not fully resolved, it's not a zero, you can go back to this karate chop point, tap in here, 
and again repeat a phrase. Even though I still have this problem and name the issue, I fully and completely accept myself. And then repeat that three times. Even though I still have a little bit of this problem or issue, I fully and completely accept myself. And take some time to notice how you feel after doing some of that tapping. And again, you can go through that tapping sequence as many times as you need to, to get that number all the way down to three, two, one, or even zero. And this is a practice that you can do every day. You can do it on a different emotion, depending on where you're at and what you're experiencing. And you might notice that as you process one emotion, a new emotion arises. Or as you process a particular memory or thought, the memory shifts and a new image comes up. And I highly encourage you to speak with a licensed mental health professional um, or naturopathic physician or someone who's trained in mind-body medicine and emotional freedom technique if you want some individual guidance to help figure out how this can fit into your life or how it can fit with your particular issue. Um, and of course, if any of this is incredibly distressing and overwhelming and confusing, you don't have to do this on your own. That's a really, really great um, indication that you would benefit from some individual one-on-one -on -one support with this. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I thank you for your attention. See you next time.